Hey. Ah! <laughs> I look like crap, let me tell you right now. Look, I got a filter on, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to, oh, let me see if I can print a filter. Girl, on. look, they Girl. Know I'm about to tell people that y'all not about to play me like that. I'm putting a filter on here, and I'm going to be looking like a bad Bitch. But you is not about to catch me slipping. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you everything you're talking about is everything I've been going through. Every hey, okay, I'm back. My um <laughs> My um connection went out and then my phone went dead. You know, it is what it is. Yep. Let's see here. Hey. <laughs> I look like crap, let me tell you right now. Look. I got a filter on, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to. Oh, let me uh, see if well, I can print a filter. Girl, look, they girl. Know I'm about to tell people that y'all not about to play me like that. I'm putting a filter on here, and I'm gonna be looking like a bad bitch. But you, you is not about to catch me slipping. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you everything you're talking about. Is everything I've been going through, and, everything, and I'm zero negative, and I'm still going through it. So okay, I got a problem with that. Like bad i really do because i don't like the fakeness of it like and i'm just being real right now right because the, the thing of it is that it, this is stuff that's been on my mind for a long time and i be going on these meetings and i be really keeping quiet and i don't say nothing <laughs> you and me both you and me right, both. Right. and i can look i can see it all in your face like you just be sitting there like i'm like oh let me just cash my she, she get real spicy she getting real spicy <laughs> But so, cause like I, I, just, I be feeling the same as like wait. And the thing of it is, is that I feel like, um, it should be fair all the way across the board. Okay, that if I'm positive, me, I'm, I'm positive, and then I have access to all these treatments. But when I found out that it was not like that for people who are negative, that made me feel some type of way because then I kind of felt like you're not giving them balance. You're telling. That they have NMO, but then you're not giving them access to NMO treatments. How is that working? It's not the medical. It's the money, the insurance. It's the FDA. It's whoever. It's whoever doesn't see the patient who makes the money decision makes the decision for those of us who are sick. Mm -hmm. That's what it comes down to. Because who does FDA approve? Yeah. Right? Who who funds the FDA? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it's yeah. it's funny. Um, like for example, I saw a documentary once about like the Heart Disease Um Foundation or something like that funding the FDA, but yeah. yet FDA is approving all this like McDonald crap and all this other stuff mm -hmm. to make them to make the world go around money wise. It's yeah. nobody cares. It's the FDA, and at least in this country, it's all money in FDA. That's ridiculous. And because, that's what it comes out to, because doctors yeah. basically will get like, okay, so I'll tell you real quick. My neuro was like, I can't do a plasma for Reese's on you just to do it like that. I can get sued and I can get fired from malpractice or whatever. I'm like, but I'm literally zero negative. I don't qualify for any other medication. And I'm having a flare and all this other stuff. Right. And come to find out, you know, I was having a flare and all the other stuff. And I emailed him everything. I'm like, everything you said you weren't going to do, they're doing here at the hospital. Oh, well, I hope the best of luck or whatever. But it's to cover their butt. It's all money. It's all money. That is so crazy. Because tell me why when I was in the hospital from back, back in December, not December, but October, I had a feeling that I needed plasma paresis treatment. And something kept telling me, like, I'm going to get permanent damage from this. I'm going to get permanent damage. And I just kept feeling it in my heart that that's what was going to happen. Now, 
what happened prior to me going to the hospital is that I had an issue with the distance of the um, neurologist that I was seeing. I couldn't get to her. I don't have strength. You know, I, I had to rely on my husband. Was all I we, we have to rely on our husband. Yes, right. I can't drive. So the thing is that I actually ended up uh, sending a message and I was like, you know, I have, I'm gonna, I might, might have to establish care elsewhere because of my transportation. Well, this bitch came to see me in the hospital. And so they were like, she, you know, is going to be the only one that can do the plex treatment. So she came to see me in the hospital. And I was like, oh, hi, how are you? And so she was like, well, there is anything that I'm going to be able to do um, because um, you had mentioned that you established care, you know, somewhere else. And I was like, well, I haven't yet. I was like, it's just really a transportation thing. And she was like, oh, well, there's nothing that I can do. So I, I wish you the best of luck and like left out the hospital. It's all because of money and the whole they don't want to get sued for malpractice. And that's why I posted on my Twitter account the other day. I'm like, this whole negligence thing, like how far does it go until we actually take, um, you know, a stance on it? Because since September, I've been saying something's not right. Something's yes. not right. Something, and you, you, and you, you, pers you personally know that what I've been going through and everything to a different hospital because they mm -hmm. were just not listening to me. Right. Boom. They did the MRI. They found the flare right behind my eyes. They were like, we need to go hard. We need to stop this. I got three days of steroids. I started the plasma on Monday. Like they were no joke trying to stop this from going on. I'm like, had I waited because you don't want to have a malpractice issue on your part, I probably would have been more disabled than whatever, you know? Yeah, and it would have been worse, and then the disability would be permanent at that point, and you would have to be forced to live with that. Now, I think, and I have a very strong, I see, I've never done plex treatment. I've never done it. This is my fourth one, yeah. and the only reason I fight for it so hard is because I am zero negative. So technically, I have no other option because FDA won't approve for me to get another option. So mm -hmm. guess what, boo-boo? Mayo Clinic actually presents in its treatment care plan for people who are zero negative to have a plasmapheresis as part of their treatment journey. And you know but, this. But, but I, so I know this because I, you know, do my own research. My doctors tend to want to go on the book level of, of stuff, and I tend to go on the whole, like, you know, Mm -hmm. the clinic of the clinic for for these spe special specialties right. um, and I'm just like I'm zero negative like I don't FDA won't pay for anything because I won't I can't do it I mm -hmm. have no cure and then then I get personal I'm like and anyways are you going to be paying for the plasma are you personally going to be paying for the plasma mm -hmm. how right. does it affect your bank account if you pay for the plasma right does it affect you on a living? Do you come to my house and cook? It's not cheap. It's not. It's really not. It's really not cheap. Yes. And so that's after, like, I'm done, like, arguing the mayo part, I'll be like, excuse me, are you going to be playing for it? Are you yeah. going to be taking care of me? Are you going to make sure that I don't catch an infection? Like, are you going to be coming to my house and cooking? You're not doing anything personally. Mm -hmm. Like, at least do me the favor and just help me out here. Right. Right. See, that's the sad thing about it. Like, when I first got sick, and I'm going to talk a lot just from the start to the beginning on my YouTube. I got the little thing going right now. I love it. I saw that. It's kind of shitty. but it No, is. it's not. It's, I love oh, it. I, I love how organic it already looks. That's yeah. what I like about it. Okay. Well, I appreciate that because I'm just like trying my hardest. Okay? No. I so, rather, I, I honestly feel like we need organic rather than that yeah. fake institutional stuff that you were talking about in those meetings. Yes. We need organic. We do. And we need a lot more of it. And I feel like that with the group of us, that it is so small. It is like the tiniest little thing ever. Every single time I'm anywhere or I'm in a group of people, is I'm like the only one. Or it's just me and you. Every time... <laughs> And I'm just kind of like, what the hell is going on here? But I mean, it is what it is. That's fine. 
we are two people that are open and honest and I'm not afraid to embarrass myself if I have to, if it's meant to cause, you know, a better outcome, especially when it's when I'm advocating for not just myself and I'm advocating for millions of other people that might have this people that don't speak English. And the perfect thing is that you also speak Spanish and that's reaching out to that community. So that's and double, I've been, double let me do. tell you, I've been connecting so many people in Spain mm -hmm. that have an animal out there is growing like crazy. And I have, I've connected already four followers and one of them has, you know, on one of our stages, the other one we covered in walk. Another one. It's like so many people that I've connected. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, why aren't we getting credited for this type of work? Yes. Oh. I mean, the thing of it is, like, my personal opinion that I don't care. Like, and me and you talked about this before. It's not about followers. The no. only thing that I care about is, is the word getting where it needs to go to. Is the right people in the right places representing the right communities as needed and yeah no if it was if it was about followers we'd be doing photo sessions with animal but obviously i'm coming on here with a pic in my neck in a hospital <laughs> room because i really don't care like it's not but, about that. It really isn't. Hell, so you don't gotta worry about it that's like you're good to go but it's still the point that you're willing to do that because you know it needs to be done because it's not about you and you're thinking about, well, if I do this right here, right now, how is this going to impact the NMO community? Mm -hmm. You know what? It's going to impact the NMO community in a positive way because I'm putting myself out there and they can see the realism of it. Because if you talk to any doctor, they're not going to tell you about this part. Yeah. And you they're not. They're they, not don't, they, they don't know about it. And they're mm -hmm. not prepared to... They're not getting paid enough. They're not getting paid enough to mm -hmm. care to tell you about this part. No. It, and, it, and, and it's unfortunate, but it comes down to the money. Yeah. And that's why patient advocacy is so important. So important. And y'all know, and if you don't know, Animal Awareness Month is coming up in March. And you know yeah. there's a whole bunch of companies out there behind the whole lot of us mm -hmm. trying to get the word out for, yeah. for this, for yeah. free. For free. Listen, okay, because the conversation at first was going to start with that, but then I was like, <laughs> let me be a little nice at first. No, no it's, that, it's coming up. Aware, rare Awareness Day is the last day yeah. in February. Okay. That's coming up. March is Animal Awareness Month, and yeah. a lot of things are coming up that all of a sudden we can't get a part of. Right. Because of the, here's the thing. This is my main concern with this. And I've done a lot of things. Some, well, I would say it's kind of half and half for me because it, it, it really depends on the cause. There are some things that I'm so passionate about that there's nothing, even if it's not on their dime or their, their time, I'm going to do it either way it goes. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like I've been, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Every time the month comes up, I do what I want to do for that month. I don't yeah. do what I'm being told, but... I just think it's funny how these big Somebody's companies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's my whole thing about that. Why? Why? Okay, we're we're a small community, right? This isn't a lot of us. I mean, really, out of all of the chronic illnesses and the rare diseases, and there's a whole lot of them that are really small, and ours just happens to be one of them too. And you know, there are some very powerful people that are advocating. Myself, you. And then there's, a, you know, several other players in the game that are doing this. But then at the same time, it's like I can count on one hand, too. So with that being said, why is it that when that time comes around, and even when it's not, you know, in a more awareness month, and they're still doing things throughout the year, someone's profiting from that. And my thing is someone's making money from it. The research is going somewhere. And those are all unanswered questions. Yeah. We're, Again. We're, we're supposed to be joining a meeting and putting our ideas out there and talking about what we think might help. And But are you paying me for that time? 
Are you paying me for you know that? Who, um, you know what I was thinking about? And I know we're going to talk in codes now. Um, yeah. That meeting that we, do, we did months ago with that company, and we've never heard back from them. Yeah. We were, we were made to sign a one-year kind of deal. I'm like, what, what, what was the point of this? Like, yeah. weren't we supposed to, like, keep up with each other and figure yeah. out how to spread more awareness? And how to do this and more. And I'm like, where did you guys go? Yeah. I I literally, literally. Have you thought about that? Yeah. But you know what? Actually, that particular company, and I have thought about that. Just so you know, between you and I, one of them did reach out to me about uh, NOR, the National Order of Rare, Dis uh, Rare uh, Diseases. Mm-hmm. And, um, I was happy about that, but then that kind of fell off the map too. And um, I actually talked to them about you. So, oh. yes, because it's, I mean, like, that's just what we do, right? And this yeah. is the time. I, it's, it's another company. And I mentioned to you already that I had uh, talked to them about you as well. Now, yeah. I just kind of feel like that it's got to be. You know, you can't just be focused on one person. Like, it's a lot of us out here advocating. All of us need an opportunity to share our voice because what I have to say may be different than what you have to say. It may be different from what the other person has to say. And it's not all about, and to me, in my mind, it's like, I could give a shit if you, you know, are, are spotlighting me at the particular moment. Should spotlight us all because every single one of us have something to say. And it is a benefit, and you got to listen to us all equally. Yes. So, and if and if and, and it comes down to that little green of like stand on the beach, like right now, yeah, I'm a little green on the stand on the beach who wasn't listened to, and look where I'm at today because I wasn't listened to. Right, I mean, you're suffering. And, I, and actually, do you know how they have the residents like coming around? I'm like, listen. Mm -hmm. If anything you're going to take away from this little residency thing that you're doing is I listen to the patient, your books ain't shit. Yes. I mean, your books are teaching you something, but listen to us. If this right. would have happened months ago, I would not be here and you wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would not be a dummy for your, for your class. <laughs> Spoke about it the first time all the way up until then. The issue with that is what damage have you sustained since then that you're not going to be able to come back from now. Yeah, no, I know I have a blurry right eye that I don't even know if it's going to come back. Right. And that's my problem. It's like, it's like all too often that that is happening to us that we're like talking and talking and talking and we're telling them this is what's going on, but they're not really understanding the, the not. severity of it. And I was on a page. I saw that there was cars that they had made that had NMO and it was a uh, written out, you know, uh, diagnosis and uh, like kind of like a vocabulary of what it was. And then like on the back of it, it was how to treat it, what to do, who to contact, whatever. And I got to thinking about that. And I'm like, damn, like I'm like dealing with all these companies and not one time have any of these companies thought about that or even suggested that maybe we should all be able to have access to patient cars and literally these cars can save our lives because when my you made a comment where you were talking about you know in a blog how your pain level was like on level 10 and this nurse is asking you all these questions and you can't even barely talk like you can't even keep yourself together you got brain fog you have symptoms from pain mm -hmm. you have you know all these things that are going on and then it kind of really hit home for me because I was like, yeah, that's me. I have that same thing. When I'm yeah. at an appointment or I'm from in a hospital and they're asking me, oh, you have NMO. Okay, such and such and such and such. I get pissed off for one when one doctor has asked me a question, then I got to go to another doctor and say the exact same thing. I'm already mad because I turned yeah. to my doctor one time. Did you not read my medical chart? He says to me, yeah, what I want to hear from you. Let me tell you, um, on the reverse side of that, one of the nurses that are helping me here, she, I was, I guess, one of her dummy students back in 20, 2019 at another hospital. Mm -hmm. And she recognized me. She's like, <laughs> don't you have a blog? And I'm like, 
how do you know? She's like, because I, you're the only person that I've met in my lifetime that has an MO. And she literally was like, you have a blog. I, I know you, I, I recognize you. And I was like, oh, it makes me feel so good that you actually yeah. like, like, remember. Like, yeah. And I actually, it, yeah, and I actually made an impact in your educational journey. Yeah. That you were able to remember. I mean, nurses are so humble compared to doctors too, so. Yeah. That but I, I, I get what you mean because it's it's like every day I have to explain the same thing. I'm like the same thing over and over again. And then I'm like I said, I I at the time I my pain level was like way through the roof, and you're asking me to repeatedly say this over and over again. You know, it would be really cool if we were able to influence these companies to have patient medical cards that they can issue to us. We With sign, like, you know what I'm saying? If we sign up from them and they're asking us all this stuff, all this personal information, give something back. Give me a patient medical card that has my name and information and my diagnosis, whether it's in a or anything. Like in an else. informational card, like yeah. Informational card. Kind of like those bracelets that they wear when like something, yeah. yeah. Like those, 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 like when someone has diabetes or allergy. But we can have like, like for me, and you know, you have a pump too. We have that pump card. So why can't we have something like a card that when we're like in that moment, that I can just pull that card out and it's signed by my neuro, for example, by a doctor and it can confirm yeah. that this is what the treatment plan should look like. They won't need to call anybody. They won't need to look anything up. That everything is all there, so that they. Can I get it, but at, at the same time, I can see why it wouldn't work because since our symptoms are constantly changing. That's true. Like the mm -hmm. updating of that card, I th I think something um, more like a digital card makes more sense. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. yeah. like today you'll be fine and then tomorrow you have something new and then you have to add that to the card and you're not going to go to the doctor's that, office just to like, you know, put the hate. That too. A digital is a, is an excellent information that they should be prompt to go digital, mm -hmm. look up our information and then see what new information has been updated in our file. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely, and I think, I think that's what drug view um, ultimately wants to do. Okay. But but they're up and coming. Yeah. So I think at the end of the day, that's what they want to do. Um, but I think there's a lot of legality that has to be, you know, yeah. hoops jump through to yeah. to be able to do all that. All the doctors and the doctors all have to be in agreement if that's what they're willing to do, and then you have to get yeah. it family fast. They actually, yeah, they actually reached out to my own neuro. And mm -hmm. he's done board with drug view. So like they're getting doctors involved, not only patients, but doctors too mm -hmm. involved in their system of, you know, that platform of drug yeah. view. Well, I hope that they are able to get that accomplished because let me tell you, you know, I feel like, I feel like a lot of times when I have something that I need to discuss with my doctor that is like, okay, how, how much risk am I actually going to be at by dealing with this doctor at this time, talking to them about whatever it is? Like that's yeah, because you almost feel like a teacher to them. I do. I really do. Because I know that if I try to explain to them what's going on, that they're going to halfway understand, but they're not going to tell me that they don't yeah. know. Yeah. They're yeah. doctors and they know everything. You know, they're a little cocky about that. So they're not going to say, oh, I don't really understand what that means. Or can you can you explain that a little further? They're going to their face and say, oh, okay. And then I'm just kind of like, well, you know what that's like? Oh, well, I think I do. Well, then why did you just tell me just five seconds, okay? Five seconds ago, okay, that you know. And then now I'm having to explain this to you. So I'm fearful of what you're trying to do now moving forward. I it, it is, it is. But that's why, like, I feel a lot more confident when they talk among other doctors and yeah. they're not making decisions themselves. Because when people, when doctors make decisions by themselves, I'm like, did you consult somebody else? Because you know you're not like 100% right. on this. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, 
Yeah. I like I like when they have like a medical team that they can like consult because again when they make the decisions themselves yeah. you're basically putting them on a golden platter yeah. and being like here you go here's my life yeah exactly <laughs> oh well, my god but everything you were talking about I feel like you were hitting my my heart and soul tonight because it's yeah. what I've been going through and it's everything literally we're in 2020 you 2022 and I've only spent three days in my house this year. Three days in my house in this new year. Like, three days. That's ridiculous. And me, and that's what I'm saying. But that's our life. That's how it's going to be. But I tell you what, I'm not going to hold you long. And I am so thankful for Thank everyone. Thank you. I mean, thank you so much for joining me because I was just chattering and going off all about my No, life. you were just hitting, like, all the points that I was like, girl, yeah. I know exactly what you were talking about. Yeah. And well, you're just hitting all the points. For everyone that's on here tonight, I want to say that this is not the first time me and Adele the Arter are going to talk. And um, I am going to upload this for everyone to see. Uh, the first mm-hmm. one, whatever. But this one, I will go ahead and upload it. Um, and then there are more conversations. The next one, I'll be prettier. Yes, exactly. We're going to be fine. <laughs> but I want to make it clear that these kind of conversations... Um, that I would like to be able to add to my YouTube. So if you guys have not already subscribed to the YouTube, please do so. If you have not subscribed to Fab NMO, hurry up and do so. I'm telling you, you are missing out. Okay. And also make sure you read her blogs because there are some very sensitive topics you are not going to find anywhere else. Okay. It's popping. Yours are too. Yours are too, boo boo. Let me tell you. These blogs I are stuff on there and I'm like, woo! Yes. <laughs> they put they put a cracker up her butt today. Right? <laughs> right. You see, there are no limitations on, on, on your own blog. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Well, anyways, my love, have a great night and thank yes. you so yes. much for bringing it up because again it has to be talked to and sometimes I don't feel like I like have the energy and I appreciate you and that you do have the energy to do it because you know (laughs) obviously I'm in this state of mind so I appreciate you and I love you girl girl I love you to death and so we'll definitely talk soon we'll meet up and and link up on a topic that I think will benefit everyone in this community yes yes have a good night bye